and um, users may browse the software which is needed for uh, fixed open and uh, IPv6 stuff. So, uh, fixed open, if no nobody uh, heard about it, it's IPv6 uh, over low power wireless personal error network. A low power wireless personal error network is a uh, something like uh, 8254 or Bluetooth Low Energy. That's uh, some uh, low, power, low power wireless personal air network and it's also used by some uh, small IoT uh, operation systems like Contiki or uh, Wired OS, uh, which uh, runs on small uh, microcontrollers. And uh, <coughs> it means that you see, which uh, is connected by some microcontroller with Kotiki or wide OS, get an IP4 6 address to uh, get access from any IP4 6 uh, connection. So uh, then I was thinking about uh, if I'm if I'm maintaining a Linux subsystem and many users has these issues with the wrapping image <laughs> and uh, the diff plug D. Uh, providing a development kit would be great because uh, nobody uh, has the issues anymore. It's, uh, uh, you need only to type uh, a command line uh, command and uh, it will generate your everything to run a uh, 6 loop time on the Raspberry Pi. So, uh, Linux Raspberry, uh, Linux Six low plan, what we currently support is uh, Bluetooth Low Energy and 802.15.4. And a typical use case are something like uh, a border router that's for routing from Ethernet IPv6 network into a uh, six low plan network. Or a simple one as a uh, uh, client, as a central node for uh, measuring uh, some temperature or. Um, other stuff, and uh, you also can do it for testing. I heard about that uh, in this de dev room is a lot of IoT software uh, presented, and if you have IPv6 uh, connection for your IoT software, you can simply um, test it if your IoT software works with the 6 Lopen stack or the Linux. And you can also use it for developing. Uh, I do. Uh, I use it myself for um, making uh, mainline uh, six loop and stuff. And we have also some users which wants only uh, have some mon uh, great monitor device, uh, like with this transceiver and Ethernet. You can uh, run Wireshark on your desktop PC and pipe over Ethernet um, the, via, uh, the, the, the Wireshark traffic over network. And this way, we, this way it on your desktop PC. Um, yes, the VPAN kit uh, use some uh, components like uh, the Ovelas tool, tool change and PDX disk. PDX disk is uh, a tool, uh, a build system tool which uh, does a lot of uh, cross compiling stuff for you. Uh, it also offers uh, interfaces uh, for auto tools or CMake to make the right environment variable variables uh, to uh, cross compile <coughs> uh, your stuff for the Raspberry Pi, for example, and also use a uh, bearbox that's a bootloader for uh, for uh, Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi Pi. We support the platforms for um, for the VPAN kit. Um, which is the Raspberry uh, Pi 1 and the Raspberry Pi <coughs> 2 and the BeagleBone. And for QEMO, uh, we have some uh, x86 x86 emulation. And I, I personally use it only for USB because uh, fighting with USB on the mainline stage for this uh, Raspberry Pi is very uh, difficult. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And you also can do a virtual interface. We have some uh, fake ALP driver. The, na the name is fake ALP for fake uh, loopback. It's uh, similar like the uh, 802.11 wireless uh, 
hardware simulator driver, if you know this. And you also, that, that, that means uh, you don't need any uh, special hardware uh, to test uh, your IoT software uh, for, six lo uh, for the 6 Lopez stack. It's, uh, you can also test it with the virtual driver. So, you can get the software on this website. It's the project website from the Linux uh, WPAN um, project. And we also have some uh, table here outside, right here, where we presenting uh, Fairbox and uh, PDXs, and it includes um, also our uh, six Lopan and uh, Coab uh, demonstration. It's uh, directly here uh, in this building. Are there any questions? specification coming yeah. along which makes some changes which might help drive six L pan. Um, is you know increases in packet size and that type of thing. Is, do you think that's the case or do you think that's a way how are we with that now? Yeah I'm I'm not a Bluetooth expert but I uh, also heard about they want uh, introduce more meshing into the Bluetooth standard and not any more point to point connection and but I don't know. I think it will be similar like 802.15.4 because 802.15.4 is they have both top frames and uh, top things, and they want to make it more um, in such stage to make it more happier with IP six because you have multicasting and um, something multicasting over point to point connection are very harmful. Uh, but I also heard they want to, they don't want to do this in 4.2. Uh, uh, it's uh, delayed. Yeah. But they want to do this for the special uh, use case. That's what okay. Any other questions? Uh, what about routing? Okay, what about, uh, what about routing? Um, you can use IP for six routing, but uh, you don't want that because uh, six open is very lossy networks. So six open exists RPL protocol. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the RPL protocol is uh, defined by the wall group. It's uh, the, uh, from the IT, uh, IETF. Um, there exists a uh, user space applica uh, application on Strong. I um, didn't test it yet, but it's on my to-do list <laughs> for the next uh, part. But you can also use IP4.6 routing, but it's, it's, it's not very, uh, <laughs> you don't want that, because IP4.6 routing is made for Ethernet cable connection, which is very uh, stable. Mm. and. Um, but you can also um, uh, use it as water router for a one hub connection. Um, so currently you use uh, water router and, uh, and star uh, network yeah. around it. You and don't yes. provide uh, no 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 routing for water in case. But it's still on the to do list, and we have maybe a. Is uh, doing routing on the big layer, but uh, for 802.54 uh, 
So uh, I've developed some uh, standard Linux Wi-Fi mesh uh, routing protocol. Uh, yeah. uh, I helped with some other uh, other ones. I've organized the battle mesh as well, uh, which is happening in uh, in April or May. So my question is, how how deep can you change things into the mesh of the uh, uh, six low pan of the, of the stack? Because um, on on Linux we have this problem that uh, uh, you can build your own metrics uh, depending on, on the, 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 the condition, the, the RF conditions. Uh, you can insert new metrics in function of the temperature if you want. Uh, funky things like that. So I was wondering, uh, can you really change every bit you want into the mesh uh, uh, stack? Mm. Uh. Like doing I funky things with routing, like um, I have an algorithm that decides, okay, I, change, I, yeah, I, ch I take that route because I want to... I, I think this is, uh, this is very specialized for the special routing protocol for lossy networks because uh, they handle the right routing and the IPv6 routing doesn't... Um, they, it, it isn't made for lossy networks, for, some, uh, for example, some node uh, is damaged and uh, you can't exit it anymore. It's. Uh but can you ch can you change the the algorithm uh, behind the mesh uh, protocol? Can can you can you do that if you want? Can you do it? Is it is it possible with your solution? Um, or yeah, it's defined by one vendor or one standard that says that's like that. Yeah, um, I think what you searching for is the RPL. Implementation ah, okay. and mesh network. Um, you mean mesh under routing or at the lowest level possible, like RF or uh, like yeah. typically the, the 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 typical problem is to get information from the RF part mm. to the upper the upper, upper, like upper like the level receiving the signal yeah. range. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We we need to introduce some uh, more data from uh, the physical side. Yeah, we, we, we need uh, more interfaces to ask a driver ah, about ah. Uh, receive strange. Then uh, RPL makes some matrix calculation about that, and ah. yes, then the, they calculate if the uh, the signal is good or bad. Okay. Typically, the, the issue we have with uh, uh, drivers to get information from the driver. Mm. So I don't know if it's the same issue with uh, six low pump. Do you get everything, or there's some yeah. some some information you, you, you can get from? The you don't talk uh, six low pump directly with the driver layer. You you have uh, a link layer. The audience, please, because we have a whole room of people here. You can talk yeah. together afterwards. <laughs> okay, I I talk with you. <laughs> so any other questions? <laughs> Now we can close. Okay, Alexander, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for catching me, that was interesting.